Hello guys and welcome to your 30th Java tutorial in which we're going to be going over modifiers. Now modifiers are, uh, as you recall, these keywords that uh, pretty much define a class or a method or even a variable. And uh, in this case we have a public class main class or a public static void main. So what, what do these keywords officially mean? I know I've kind of used them a lot, but you know, I've never officially uh, made a tutorial on them. And how many are there actually? Uh, so uh, without further ado, let's just go over all the modifiers. So we have public, and if say I can create a public integer my int, uh, there we go. What does it do? This public keyword pretty much uh, defines the my int variable to be accessible by this entire class, by all the classes in this package, and by all the packages in this source folder. And I know we only have one package for now, but that may change. You never know. Uh, and the next keyword would be protected. If we have a protected int my int, this means that uh, the my int variable is accessible by everything in this class and all of the classes in our package. Uh, but none of the packages outside of this package can access the my int variable. All right, let's go ahead and change the modifier here to private. A uh, private int my int. Now, what does this do? Well, this private int will only be accessible in this class. It's not even accessible by any of the other classes in the same package. But you know, without just, you know, I, I, I don't really just want to leave you with that quick brief definition. Let's just do some very, you know, cool examples and you might learn something on the way. So uh, let's get started. Let's in our default package, let's for example create another class. It's going to be named vars. Well, it's, I don't know, variables. Oh, well, yeah. All right. And this is just going to have a ton of variables for us. Uh, let's say a public, it's going to have a public variable. It's going to have a public integer, my int. And it's also going to have a protected integer, my var. And it's also going to have a private integer, my var, too. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so anyways, uh, let's just go ahead and create a constructor for this class. And it's uh, going to be a public vars like so, and we're just going to pre-initialize all these, not pre-initialize, we're just going to initialize them. My var, set that equal to 1, set my var 2 equal to 2. Yeah, so, you know, some, some pretty basic stuff. Well, let's see what happens when we try to access these. Let's see, main class. All right, so I want to create my own vars instance. Let's go vars v is equal to new vars, or vars, or whatever you choose to call it. All right, so let's see what I can access. So let's see, v dot, and let's see the different stuff I can access. Well, I can clearly access my var and my int for now. And if, you, if we recall, my var and my int, those are the public and protected integers. So everything works as expected. And if I try to access this private int, my var2, so if I go v dot my var2, and I reset it to something like 4, I'm going to get an error. It's going to say change visibility of my var to default, something like that, because I cannot uh, access it with this private modifier. All right, so next, let's go ahead and test out this protected modifier, protected int my var. All right, so protected, what is that? It can only be accessed in all the classes uh, inside this same package. Uh, so we are going to have to create more than one package to effectively test this. And how we're going to do that is we're going to right-click source, going to go to new, and then click package. And uh, there's no, there's actually a strict, you know, package naming convention that you you, have to, you usually want to follow. Well, you know, making something professional. But you know, since this is, you know, kind of, you know, just a tutorial series, I'm just going to go ahead and make like make like a com.youtube.vars package. I don't know. And in this package, uh, we're going to have another new class. Uh, let's just go ahead and name it uh, mm, uh, main class. Why not? Another main class. And we're actually going to need another package. Uh, let's go ahead to source, hit new. And this is because of the reason that we're using our default package here. Default package isn't really good because we can't actually access it. I'm sorry, I clicked new class. I meant to click new package. Let's create another package. Let's call, name it com.youtube.vars. And com, by the way, is company. So, you know, youtube.com. Uh, .vars. Uh, .vars2. Simple enough. All right, and here, let's create another new class, and let's name it vars. 
So all I'm really doing is I'm pretty much recreating a class from uh, our default package right here in our uh, new new location. So all I'm going to do is copy this code right now. I'm going to close out of this method and close out of the original. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Modify, save it. All right, here we go. Com.youtube.vars2. This shows our package location. Uh, we're right here, and let's just paste that code down right here. And why I did this was so we could effectively demonstrate with these two official package names. And let me just show you exactly what I mean. Uh, so here I am in this completely different package, uh, com.youtube.vars, and I'll open that main class. There we go. And what do I want to do here? Well, let's just create another new main method. Uh, public static void main. All right, I, I think you guys are probably thinking that this is kind of really repetitive, but you know, I, I think it's just good practice to repeat. Uh, so I've chosen this this type of style right now. Uh, so, anyways, here we have we've created another another main class and another package. And let's say we want to access the the protected keyword from my var. Let's just try. Let's try. And we'll do that by simply creating a vars instance vars v is equal to new vars and it's going to ask us to import it from com.youtube.vars2 this import statement from another package all it does is it import this class right down here and now we can officially use it and let's try to access a variable what we can only access one variable my int oh that, that kind of sucks and why is that that's because this protected variable and this private variable they make them they make these two variables inaccessible from a different package. However, the public variable makes my int accessible from any package and any class in this entire source folder. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I've wanted to teach for now. And we'll just preset it to three. Set it to three. So I kind of, I kind of went along and taught you guys how to create simple packages and uh, along the way, and just demonstrated the modifiers so you know public accessible by pretty much anything private only accessible by one class protected access by everything in the package I guess I could have just summarized it that way but you know I, I wanted to I wanted to make it a bit better alright thank you guys for watching uh, I believe I've, I've went over everything I wanted to go over in this tutorial uh, and peace